Hello everyone, welcome to my video on video-based virtual reality. Here in my agenda, I'm going to go through what is one technology, what does it do, how does it do it, what impact, and how can it affect me. I'm focusing on autistic students in classes today. They've been, they've been reported to exhibit a natural affinity for computers and technology, particularly virtual reality and head mounted devices. Virtual technology is considered to be well aligned with autistic people, the students, and that is highly, it allows them the ability to view, manipulate, and act with, interact with their surroundings without fear of anybody else around them. The need for high te technical development skills, and in some cases, are in some cases prohibited because of the cost and the, what's required. The use of Spherical video based virtual reality, also referred to as 360 degrees videos and immersive videos, is what I'm going to be addressing. A specific example of emerging technology is just that the video based virtual reality technology for artistic users. I'm looking at the spherical video based virtual reality, SVVR. It places the user strength centrally within the spherical environment where they can interact with the contents and the context via a head-mounted device captured by a head-mounted device, a video goggles. It's promising for autistic students and users because of its simplicity, low cost, ease of use, while still providing potentially useful affordances related to the, immers the immersive capabilities. What does it do? Designed to present a spherical 360 degree view to a user who's centrally located. Users can look around, interact with the environment in a limited way by moving their heads over in the head mounted device, but they're unable to actually manipulate objects in the environment or move around freely, which again, for autistic students is another stress relieving factor. Users are unable to directly navigate the virtual world and must remain in the position of the video maker. They're always in the camera's view. This constraint removes the SVBR less immersive than the IBR in terms of both users' interactions and sensory engagement. Promising for the field of autism research because it is because of its simplicity of production, it provides a conduit for non-expertise. There's teachers, there's the regular persons can do it. You don't have to be an expert to actively design, deploy virtual reality in their own context or settings. This provides an opportunity for other practitioners to actually now be able to research and study the effects. How does it do it? The required, this system requires far fewer computational resources and importantly technical knowledge. It's much simpler and more direct. 360 videos are captured using specialized cameras, which include low end omnidirectional devices that can be attached to a smartphone or you can get an expensive camera. Videos are stitched together to create the 360 degree view. The SVVR utilizes common video formats. It does not require development of a high end system to deliver the videos. It can run on YouTube, it doesn't need its own platform. This technology relevance can be seen by the positioning of the work within the video modeling and discussing how video prompting strategies are assigned. What is video modeling? Video, the video modeling says learners can acquire a range of skills by watching another individual form skills, modeling, and ways to achieve successful outcomes. Typically involves a demonstration of a target skill through a pre-recorded representation of skills. So students can just watch the videos and then try to repeat it. For video prompting, the American Psychiatric Association stated that autistic people tend to be present in a range of challenges in relation to ex executive functions that can interact. Video prompt them to be found useful in addressing this issue. Video project aligns well with the use of SVR applications because the video information can, can be interlaid on it. This is what it looks like, where you have those small video prompts integrated into the video. What does it have on impact in uh, education? It's not only for artistic students, it could be extrapolated to any classroom. And it doesn't take teachers to be a genius to use it. Me. I can now use it for my classes. I can create my own video virtual reality world. I can implement them to my students in no matter what they are. And so the students is that we game based, I can now incorporate my game based learning. And that's it. Thank you. Under five minutes.
and this is everything else. This is me, you, my references. All right, thank you everybody.